Hello there and welcome back to SCP Readings with your reader, Gmo Don. We have gotten a request from the Game Master 3A5 to do SCP-516. As always, there is a link in the description for you to follow along as I read along. This is SCP-516. SCP-516 is a standard model T-55 main battle tank. Records indicate it was manufactured in 19 blank at blank plant Kharkiv Ukrainian SSR and that it had a normal period of service in the armed forces of blank. It exhibits wear and tear consistent with its age. The only part of SCP-516 which is known to exhibit abnormal properties is its main armament and turret assembly from here designated as SCP-516-1. However, as SCP-516-1 has been replaced several times throughout SCP-516's service life, without any apparent effects, its abnormal properties seem to be inherent to SCP-516. When loaded with a compatible 100mm ammunition, SCP-516-1 exhibits a limited degree of an autonomy. When an entity attempts to damage SCP-516, SCP-516-1 will track and fire on it if it is physically possible to neutralize the threat, regardless of whether SCP-516 is crewed. It will not respond to threats outside its range or traverse, such as aircraft. This phenomenon only occurs if the entity possesses reasonable means to damage SCP-516. For example, SCP-516-1 will not fire on a person attempting to attack SCP-516 with their fists. SCP-516-1 may be operated manually, but is selective about its targets. In general, it will only permit its operator to fire on non-living targets, non-sapient biological targets, or armed humans. Under these circumstances, it will fire as a normal armament piece. If a target does not satisfy these conditions, essentially being unarmed, sapient being, SCP-516-1 will jam. Attempts to prevent jamming through maintenance or parts replacement have failed. SCP-516 appears to go to extra lengths to prevent injury to unarmed humans, deliberately placing shots from SCP-516-1 to avoid collateral damage. When operated manually, SCP-516-1 places a higher priority on preserving unarmed life than eliminating armed targets. It will jam if directed to fire upon a group of persons, of which only some members are armed. It should be noted that none of SCP-516's other armaments exhibit these properties and appear to be perfectly normal. SCP-516 was brought to the attention of the Foundation in 2000 and blank, when it was slated to be broken up for scrap. Due to bureaucratic oversight, ammunition has not been removed from SCP-516-1, causing it to open fire with blank casualties. The ensuing blank government investigation was noted by Foundation operatives, and it was thought worthwhile to take SCP-516 into custody. To sum that one up, it is basically, from what I can understand, a tank from the Soviet Union, that was built in the Soviet Union anyhow, and it has been seen through many years of use through different wars and battles and the turret of the tank will lock up or jam if it is ordered to attack an unarmed civilian, unarmed human being, anything like the such, but it will attack if the human being is armed or if it is attacked by something it will attack back. It sounds to me like it's a mercy tank. That's what I would call it, a mercy tank. Mainly because, well, it, it doesn't attack those who are unarmed or who haven't done anything to it. Well, that has been SCP-516. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and of course, request as you wish. Please join me next time on another installment of SCP Readings. Thanks.